Hey everybody, my name is Kip and you are watching America Bumper to Bumper. This is the fourth and final video of the May Cars and Coffee for South Burlington. Um, we've got a few cars and then we've got some cars uh, that were leaving some uh, like noise from the uh, Lamborghini and the uh, Ford GT and I believe maybe a Porsche. Um, so uh, sit back, enjoy this uh, shorter than usual, usual video, and let's get into it. From from. Start this video off with this Dodge Challenger. This is RT. Um, can't really, not a whole lot about it. Just the you know the new Challenger. Uh, now we're looking at a '68. Mercury uh, Cougar. Um, out of the two cars, the Mustangs and the Cougars, because these both were uh, on the same chassis, this one was a little bit bigger. Um, give me a, a Cougar all day long. <clears throat> I like that they're, <coughs> excuse me, not quite as uh, common as the Mustang, and I think they look just a little bit better. But that's just me. Uh, now we're looking at a Z32 Nissan 300ZX. This is a twin turbo model. These things were made from 90 to 96. Oh, well, they were sold in the United States until 96. They were made in, still made in Japan until, I think, 2000. Really, really nice clean car. <coughs> Excuse me. T-tops. Another great feature of this car. Absolutely beautiful. And we're looking at another Dodge uh, Challenger Scat Pack. I looked at, I believe, a red one from earlier in the uh, the series. This is the slightly newer uh, model because of the way the, the, the tail lights are. Uh, now we're looking at a Plymouth Street Rod. Not 100% you know, sure on the gear of this, um, but a great looking uh, 30s Plymouth Street Rod. Interior on this has definitely had some upgrades. And check out the seats. Those surely are not stock. Looking at a C5 Corvette. This is the Z06 uh, hardtop model. These were going to be considered for the um, the base car, but when they found that the structural rigidity was so much better on these, they made it the Z06. And here's another C5. This one, uh, convertible. Have mixed feelings about the, uh, the wing in the back, but uh, I do love the, the black on black on black. And the body kit on it is uh, pretty cool. Uh, 66 Grand, uh, Buick Grand Sport convertible. Almost identical other than the fact that it's convertible to the car sitting right next to it. I think I may have said that the one beside it was a 65, but I uh, I don't think that that is the, the case. I think that's also a 66. Very nice, clean car. And here is a, a 2018 Mustang. This is a 5-liter Coyote. Uh, powered 
Mustang. Uh, this was owned by a, a friend, okay, the Mustang GT, uh, who since traded it in for a, a Raptor. And uh, but this is a great car. I love the uh, the gold rims on this. And now we are going to let the cars do the talking. Thank you everyone for watching this uh, fourth video of May Cars and Coffee. Appreciate your uh, support and uh, everything that's uh, been going on. If you are not a subscriber to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you can keep track of all of our new material when it comes out. And um, make sure to keep track of all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook and uh, Instagram um, both have are going to have content that you will not see on anything else. So I might have something that's going to be posted just to, to Instagram. I'll have something that's just posted to Facebook. You know, pictures, whatever it is. So make sure you're uh, following all of them so you can uh, keep track of everything that we do. Uh, if you're interested in being a contributor, please um, hit me up with an email. Um, everything that I've been talking about is either here or down in the description. And have yourself a day. Hopefully it's a good one.